All right, so if I'm going to solve this first problem on the don't break the chain activity, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write down sine of 15 degrees because that's the problem. The square root of 6 minus square root of 2 that's in the blue box is the answer to a different problem. So I'm just looking to solve sine of 15 degrees. Since I'm looking to solve sine of 15 degrees, I know I have two options for identities that I can use. I can use sine of a plus b, which equals the sine of a, the cosine of b, plus the sine of b, and the cosine of a. Or I can use sine of a minus b which is the same formula, it just oops, just has a subtraction sign in between instead of an addition sign. So the way I'm gonna decide if I'm going to, which formula I'm gonna use is I have to think about how I can get 15 degrees from things I already know on my unit circle. So if I'm looking at my first quadrant of my unit circle, I know I have zero, that first angle I have then is 30 degrees, then I have 45 degrees, then I have 60 degrees, and 90. I want to always try and use the first quadrant just because I'd rather work with smaller numbers than bigger ones. And then I want to pick two numbers that I can either add together to get 15 or subtract and get 15. So right off the bat, I notice I have two different options. I'm going to obviously subtract because all of my numbers are bigger than 15, but I could use 60 and 45 because if I do 60 minus 45, I get 15. Or I could do 45 minus 30 and get 15. So it doesn't matter which one I choose. I can use either one. I'm going to use 45 and 30. So I'm going to rewrite it. Oops. Instead of writing sine of 15 degrees, I'm going to write sine of 45 degrees minus oops, 30 degrees. And then my 45 is my A, and my 30 is my B. So I'm just going to go back to my formula, and everywhere I had a B, I'm going to replace it with a 30. And everywhere I had an A, I'm going to replace it with a 45. And then I'm going to use my knowledge of my unit circle to simplify it. So I'm going to end up with sine of 45 degrees, cosine of 30 degrees, minus sine of 30 degrees, cosine of 45 degrees. Now I'm going to have to go back to my unit circle and remember that my coordinate for 30 degrees is root 3 over 2 and 1 half. And my coordinate for 45 degrees is root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2. And then I'm just going to go back in and find the sine of 45, the cosine of 30, the sine of 30, and the cosine of 45. So if I'm trying to find the sine of 45, I know sine is my y value. My y value at 45 is root 2 over 2. Then I need my cosine at 30, which is my x value at 30. So it's root 3 over 2. Then I need my sine of 30, which is my y value at 30. So I get 1 half. And my cosine of 45, root 2 over 2. From here, I'm just going to simplify these. So when I multiply the first one, I do root 2 times root 3, which gives me root 6. And then I do the denominators. 2 times 2 is 4. Minus here, I get 1 times root 2 is root 2 over 4. And now I'm just going to go back to my don't break the chain activity. And I'm going to look on slide four to see where I have a blue box that says root six 
over 4 minus root 2 over 4. And I see that they've rewritten this on the blue box as root, oops, root 6 minus root 2 all over 4. And it's on the box, oops, on the box that also says cosine of 17 pi over 12. So this box, I'm going to go and copy and paste it and put it in the orange box on the don't break the chain activity. Then I'm going to solve this problem next, find the answer and put that in the yellow box and keep going.